Hey, are you all right? I'm gonna make a moussaka today. Not made one for ages and I just fancied it. I've got some leftover cooked potatoes and I've got some lamb mince, so I thought, yeah, that's what we'll make today. You need to chop a large onion. You can do it by hand as well if you want. Fry the onion in a bit of sunflower oil and a little bit of salt. In the meantime, when your onions are frying, slice an aubergine or eggplant about one centimetre thick. Lay them out on a tray and drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. I've used Kalamata olive oil. It's just out of Aldi, it's Greek, so it fits. Um, aubergines will drink as much of this as you put on them. They're greedy, so only one to two tablespoons. You don't need any more than that. Pop them in the oven, 220 about 20 minutes no not 220 200 220 is too hot 200 about 20 minutes just until they're soft two cloves of grated garlic two tablespoons of tomato puree put in a teaspoon of ground cinnamon throw in your lamb mince break it all up Keep turning it over, get some good colour on there. A stock pot and a tin of plum tomatoes. Half a tin of water. Crush the tomatoes with the back of a fork. At this point you can put half a glass of red wine in instead of half a tin of water. The stock pots, whether you use lamb, chicken or beef, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Use what you've got. This one happens to be a beef one that I've put in. It's fine. And always a plum tomato, not a chopped tomato. Use a tin of plum. Now you're just going to bring that to the boil and simmer it away. I nearly forgot. And two teaspoons of oregano. Just let that blip nicely away. Just set them aside to go cold. So this is done now, it's at about 40 minutes. You can see it's all nicely reduced and the, the onions and the tomatoes have cooked right down. Now set that aside, we're gonna make the white sauce for the top. Melt 40 grams of butter, stir into that 40 grams of plain flour. Mix it together, cook it out for about a minute or two, maybe two minutes. Just over a low heat, and you just gradually stir in 500 ml of milk. Now you've got to keep stirring it. When it's almost boiling and getting a bit thick, put some more milk in. Keep it moving. That's the last of the milk. Any little lumps you can whisk out. I'll just bring that to the boil. Now you'll notice as it gets hot, it gets thick. So this is almost boiling and it's the consistency of double cream. So take it off the heat. Now I've split two eggs. They go into your sauce with half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Whisk those in. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now that must be done off the heat or you're just going to get scrambled yolks in there. And that's got a lovely yellow colour because I use Vicky's free range eggs. If you can get hold of free range eggs, beautiful. Don't worry, we're not going to waste these egg whites. I'm just putting them in a little Tupperware tub and they'll freeze. You might want to write two on so you know how many there are. But we'll make something with them some other time. If you're left over with yolks, you can freeze yolks as well. Right, we just need to layer it up now. I've been and bought this today out of B&M. It was £7. I'm short of deep dishes. I, I, they end up getting given away and I, I don't always get them back. But I've got another one. i tell you what else I've seen in B&M today and everyone's always asking us where I get my slow cooker from. I've had it years and years and years and I think I actually got it given off my mother-in-law. In fact, I did. I got it off my mother-in-law and I've had it a long time, so I don't know where it's from, but it's six litres. I was in B&M 
£30 for a 6.5 litre slow cooker. They're on the top shelf, so get yourselves down because never had very many unless they've got some in the back. So seeing them today, I thought I'd share that with you. Now layer this up. You want a layer of potato on the bottom. These are just leftover potatoes that I've sliced up, boiled and cooled. Put them over the bottom. Cover your potatoes with a layer of your mint sauce. So use about half your mint, then go over that with a layer of aubergine. There. If you don't like aubergine, just do another layer of potato. Cover that with mint. And now your white sauce goes all over the top. I've still got a shitty broken ladle. Not very, never got round to getting another. Just scoop this over the top. You want a thick layer of this. Get it into all those little crevices. Oh, I want to eat that now. That just needs warm through in the oven. So cook it on 200 for as long as it takes for it to be heated all the way through and nice and brown on the top. This is a dead good one for making in advance. So you could make it today and then just heat it up tomorrow or the next day. Just get it to this point, let it go cold and put it in the fridge until you want to finish it off. We're just going to have this with a bit of Greek salad. Nice and hot, just out of the oven. Here it is, all done. Moussaka, a lovely Greek salad, a few pita breads that I've toasted and some lovely satsiki. Let's try some. How delicious that looks. I can't wait to have a go at this. Don't forget to dollop your tzatziki on top of your salad. Now this is a good tea. That tzatziki, beautiful. You'll have to make it. And this moussaka. Brilliant if you've got four crown deers, just just a canoe of footprints. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? What do you want? Hmm. Can you hear that nose? And the moussaka. So tasty. So tasty. I won't be sharing it with Duchess. Will we, Duchess? No. <laughs> So whatever you're doing tonight, whatever you're having for your tea, have a lovely evening. If you make this, don't forget to like and share. If you've watched it to now, you better like and share. Have a great evening. See you soon. Bye bye.